Name the Chicago suburb that wants to get in the mix. Uh, I, they are piling up. There's a long line. And uh, Waukegan, come on down. You have been uh, added to the... That's your home, Nick. Sell it. Come on, tell everybody. You grew up, you know it, you love it. You're Waukegan through and through. T- tell us. I am, but uh, no. <laughs> let's go back. To, <laughs> let's go back up to Arlington Heights. Uh, no, it would be. Uh, I think it would. The, the city would greatly benefit from a multi, you know a billion dollar stadium. And you know, I just moved to Arlington Heights to be closer, but now I might have to move back to Waukegan if that were to happen. Oh but um, yeah, I think like Adam was just saying, what you know. City wants to be in on the action. I think as this keeps going on, we're going to continue seeing more and more cities get in on the action of wanting the Chicago Bears. It makes sense. But uh, it looks like Waukegan is just the next in line here. I mean, I, I really think that everybody should throw their hat in the ring, and I'm going to do it myself. Like I, I have a plot of land that I have my eye on, and if the Bears want to call me, I don't want to give the suburb away. Um but, you know, it's right outside of where I grew up. Fine, it's Highwood. I think Highwood should make Highwood's a play. Highwood's great. I don't know what kind of open land they have, but Highwood's a good spot. Well, I, well they used to if we have Fort Sheridan over there. I don't think the Ford is active. There are families that live there, but it's right on the lakefront, just like Waukegan. Why, you know, just, just build the whole thing in Lake Forest. Let's go. Like, like why don't we just, let's, let's get everybody in on here. Come on, Rockford, where's your pitch? Let's go. The, I mean, seriously, if you had to pick right now, they go to Waukegan or Naperville. What are you taking? Waukegan, it's closer. Got the yeah, Genesee yeah. Theater. Mm-hmm. Closer to me. I'm being totally selfish. I mean, on that, on that question, I'm just being selfish. The lakefront, too. I think there is an opportunity. I've been waiting, wanting for them to do something on the lakefront forever now. So, hey, maybe they can make something happen. I mean, who the hell does Waukegan think they are, honestly? You think the Bears are coming to Waukegan? <laughs> they had Otto Hell Graham, on. one of the greatest quarterbacks in NFL history there, Mark. That's, that's about all I can Is say. Is Waukegan Otto, really known as the city of progress? Oh, well, that's a first. Get the one. hell out of here, Waukegan, and you two, Naperville. This is ridiculous. When I, look, just figure it out, Brandon. Brandon, the door is open, at least ajar. We we cannot go to Waukegan, and we're not going to Naperville. This is Chicago damn-ass Bears, Waukegan and Naperville. Um, Come on, man. By the way, low-key uh, cool moment today, I thought, like, Cole Komet named you stadium guy, Carm. Yeah, so. <laughs> well, I, forget what was... he, I forgot what he said exactly, but he was like, you're, you're the stadium guy. Well, that that was the fun part of my day because you know we uh, the, the way we set up the interview with the Bears, Adam, uh, you know, the mansion setting it up, and so you know it was it was Adams doing the the work with uh, Komet. But I came out to say hello, take a picture, see whatnot, and when I walked out, he was like, "What do you think of this stadium stuff? You're a stadium guy," and I'm like, and I just said the same thing that I just said right now. F Waukegan, get hell out of here, Waukegan, <laughs> Waukegan. Come on, man. And then no disrespect, Waukee. You just know your role. Your role is not the Chicago Bears. We're not going out. We're not, they're not, they're not going to be the W Bears. That's ridiculous. 